Hello, I'm Karen Kirkwood, a member of the St. Paul branch of AAUW, a past state president and currently an elected director on the National AAUW Board of Directors. As many of you know, a proposed bylaws amendment regarding our membership requirement will be coming up for a vote of the current membership beginning on April 7th. This issue has come before us in the past, but the urgency has never been higher. This time, the National Board has formally endorsed the amendment and is working for its passage. In addition, it has been endorsed by a number of state boards, including AEW of Minnesota. I'm here today to help answer your questions and give you an opportunity to be a fully informed voter. AAUW has a long history of promoting equity for women where and when it was needed. We continue to promote education at the national and branch levels through our programs such as NICWISL, which stands for National Conference of College Women Student Leaders. That's why it's shortened. <laughs> Work smart and start smart and of course our scholarships. We were active in promoting the 21st Amendment 100 years ago so that women could vote. Fifty years ago, we worked actively to promote the Voting Rights Act so that all women could vote, not just white women. With all that has happened in our world this past year, it is time for us to step up and become equitable in our own organization. By demonstrating our value of equity, we will attract other people who share that value, especially younger people. We probably won't gain many new members, but we will gain supporters to help us achieve our vision of equity for all. It is a fact that younger people see equity as essential. They will not support an organization monetarily or otherwise that purports to be for equity, but doesn't allow people to join if they don't have degrees. We need their support to grow and thrive. Many corporations and foundations that we rely on for major funding will not even consider our requests because we restrict our membership to only those with degrees. We need the support of these funders in order to advance our efforts for equity. Corporations and foundations need to protect their own reputations and values when giving their support by only giving to those who demonstrate the equity that they promote. We will have access to more funding from corporate and foundation funders, which is critical. Speaking of financing, do you know that our dues provide only 15% of the cost of our budget? Our budget is mostly supported by investment income and major donors, both of which vary from year to year. AEW's relevance will be enhanced by eliminating barriers that limit who can participate in our mission of advancing equity for women and girls. Staying relevant is crucial to AEW's survival. Our self-imposed degree requirement actually discriminates against women and girls, even if it was once a well-intentioned incentive to achieve a degree in higher education. Here's the bottom line. If the degree requirement is eliminated, membership in AEW will be based on support of our mission to advance equity for women and girls through research, education, and advocacy, not on whether someone individually has had the opportunity, time, and money to attend college. I hope you will take the time to carefully consider this significant amendment change, and don't forget to vote. Information about the voting process will be sent to members before April 7th. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions or concerns. I am here to listen. Thank you for your time. Here is my contact information. And again, if I am not available for a phone call, please leave a message with your name and the best way and time to reach you. Thank you.